Hey everyone, it's Jeannie from A1 Vacuum and Sewing, and I am going to show you how I do a corner on a piece of fabric with my serger. So I am on a Baby Lock Triumph, and um, here's the machine I'm on. I am going to be raising my presser foot by using this lever here on the right hand side. And I did want to just point out um, some of the anatomy of the machine so you understand what I'm referring to. So there are, I'm going to drop the foot on the machine. If you look at the back of the foot right here, um, I call these the fingers. I don't know what they're really called, but they kind of hold the, the uh, stitches in place. So um, they, they just keep the stitches kind of compact and together, I guess. Um, I think they, the looper threads kind of feed off of them. And uh, there are the, where the needles are. And the needles are going to drop in right here at this part of the foot. They're going to come down. So I'm going to put this on. And maybe you can see it better now, but these are the fingers, and this is where the needles are going to come down. So it's just kind of important as I kind of demonstrate what we're going to be doing. Um, let's see. There we go. So what we're going to do is, and you want to start with your threads underneath the foot. I'm going to go ahead and stitch down to this corner. And I'm gonna do what's called I call riding the blade. Although you can move it over and have it cut some of that fabric off for you if you want. So what I like to do is I like to go just a stitch off the edge. And if you feel like you're not good at just um, surging a stitch off the edge, you can hand roll and you're always rolling your hand wheel towards you. There I'm one stitch off the edge. I'm gonna put my needles in the highest position. I'm going to raise my presser foot. I'm going to grab slack from right above the needles, like right here, and I'm going to pull down. What that's going to allow me to do is pull back on my fabric, and I'm pulling the threads off the fingers. I'm going to turn counterclockwise 90 degrees, and I'm going to put my fabric up against the blade. And I want, I may need a little more slack. I want those, um, uh, the back of the fabric to be right where the needle's gonna drop down again. Maybe I can show you from this angle. Can you see that? Let me see if you can see that. That's right where, and I'll hand roll the needles down so you're gonna see them drop right into the edge of the fabric. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do the next corner. Okay. I'm gonna go one stitch off there. One stitch off, roll your needles into the highest position, foot up, pull down and give yourself a little slack, pull back, swing your fabric around next to the blade. You're gonna put your foot back down. And if you want, you can also pull up on the slack so it's not too messy. And then we're gonna go ahead and do the next corner. I'm gonna go one stitch off the edge, foot up, pull down some slack, probably pulling maybe an inch. Rotate your fabric 90 degrees around. Pull up on that slack if you want. And this last corner, I'll surge right off. And this is what your corners will look like. Nice and clean. And uh, you don't have to cut any of that thread. And you're not going to have this big thing hanging off every single corner. So um, that's how I do my corners. Thanks for joining me. It is National Serger Month. Bye.